In my hand, I hold the future of solar power. This is a piece of glass, but on it, I have printed a thin film of a man-made mineral called perovskite, which is the fastest improving solar technology we've ever seen. I'm a physicist at MIT, and most days I can be found sitting in pitch dark labs using lasers to study these perovskites. I look at how well they harvest light to energize and transport electrons as electrical current, and how we can improve the efficiency of this. We've made breakthroughs by looking at these processes happening on time scales of a billionth of a second and on length scales one hundredth the width of a human hair. I first came across perovskites back in 2012 while I was at Oxford University, when a fellow graduate student made a remarkable discovery. He found that man-made versions of the naturally occurring minerals called perovskite could be tweaked to make extraordinary solar materials, like this one I hold in my hand. Perovskites let us truly rethink what we can do with the silicon-based solar panels we see on roofs today. We can create perovskite cells that are colorful, opaque, or partly transparent. This means we can make beautiful buildings in which the solar panels are an integral part of the design, rather than something that needs to be disguised. Imagine a skyscraper with colorful perovskite-tinted windows that shade the interior from hot sunlight by converting it to electricity, reducing the cooling bill, while also providing power. This is a flexible solar cell made at MIT that is so light in weight that it can be suspended on a soap bubble. Being, uh, we can envisage lightweight, inexpensive perovskite solar sheets that could be moved with the sun, just like clothes hanging to dry. Being so light, they could be easily deployed into remote communities, and this could go a long way to providing power for the 1.3 billion people in the developing world who lack access to electricity. Another aspect that really excites me is how cheap these can be made. These thin, crystalline films are made by mixing two inexpensive, readily abundant salts to make an ink that can be deposited in many different ways. For example, by printing roll-to-roll -roll like newsprint. <clears throat> by gently heating, these thin films form just like salt crystals emerging from evaporating tidal pools. The films are of very high quality, similar to the silicon we see in solar panels on our roof today, but without the costly high-temperature processing. This means that perovskite solar panels could cost less than half of their silicon counterparts. To put this in context, less than half a cup of the ink would make enough perovskite solar panels to power an average home. And a figure I find even more impressive, perovskite solar panels made from just a half-filled Olympic swimming pool of the ink would comfortably power all of California. In just three years, the efficiency perovskite solar cells convert sunlight to electricity has hit 21% and rising. That's a milestone conventional silicon took 30 years to reach. But perovskites are set to reach the market first as an ally rather than a competitor to silicon. We can even print a low-cost perovskite layer right on top of new silicon panels without any major changes to manufacturing, installation or wiring. This boosts the efficiency of today's silicon technology by generating at least 20% more electricity per panel, but at very low additional cost. When I say that perovskites are the future of solar, I don't mean the distant future. Perovskites are set to make their commercial debut this time next year. The challenge we're facing now is to show they can reliably operate for many years, but accelerated testing shows we're on track. What's more, we're discovering these perovskites are also excellent light emitters, and they could spawn the next generation of low-cost LEDs with exceptional color purity. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> We've still got work to do, and it will take a global push to realize the full potential of perovskites. But given the prize of cheap, clean energy, the future is bright. Thank you. <laughs>